Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How is everyone? Hopefully you are well. Today is, if you can believe it, Friday, September 11th to 2020. I'm Darkside Phil, and I welcome you to my stream wholeheartedly. The first thing I would like to say, obviously, is that today is the 19th anniversary of the September 11th terror attacks on the United States of America, where many people lost their lives, and it's time for us to remember those losses, um, you know, and think back about how things have changed in American life since then, in a lot of ways, many different ways, um, you know, so many different things have changed since then, and you know, in a very somber way. It's not a good thing for sure. It's one of the worst days in American history uh, where, in a lot of ways, our entire way of life changed around after that. Before then, it was kind of like everyone just kind of went about their business and didn't think too much about this kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, you know, after, the, that, after that horrendously heinous day, everyone just thought, man, at any moment, anyone could, could be under attack and a lot of our, our feelings of security, safety, kind of melted away. You know, that's just the reality of things. So, we take a moment on this day every year to remember and never forget. Okay, now, let's talk about what you're here for. You're not here to hear somberness and, you know, reflection on the past. We're here to have fun, right? So let's talk about today's streams. Today, we're going to be doing a variety of stuff, and certainly today is not going to be uh, one of the more laid-back days. Quite the opposite, okay? <laughs> Quite the opposite. Today, we got an action-packed day here on stream for you. <clears throat> okay? First of all, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Collection continuing on on today's first stream. Let's get you guys caught up on how I'm doing in this game. So far, I have played it twice. One major stream, and then one late night stream. So, roughly anywhere from four to six hours of gameplay, depending on how you add it up. Um, <clears throat> and, so far, I have sucked major butt. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie. I am no good at this game. Alright? As I play it, I get ever so slightly better. All right, but I am no good at this, okay, admittedly. Um, I even asked you guys earlier in the week, did you want us to keep seeing it, you know, or are you done with it, you know? Uh, and the answer is, you guys said you wanted more. So I've kept playing it, all right? Though admittedly, I know, I know I'm not doing well, and I know that, uh, you know, it's more failing than anything else. But through... Determination and perseverance. I'm still playing it, and surprisingly enough, I'm still advancing in it, okay? So, last time around when we played this, I had just unlocked the streets. So, the streets is the next-to-last stage of the game. Um, of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1, I should say, okay? <clears throat> and, um, you know, I'm doing my best to try to get the goals in each stage so we can keep advancing. From what I understand, I need to hit 11 more in order to unlock the final stage, which I believe is Roswell, New Mexico. Um, whew, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm being honest. I think there's maybe a small handful of, of challenges I have not completed yet in previous stages. And then we got the streets stage, but <clears throat> I guarantee you it's probably the hardest one so far. Okay. Um... <clears throat> So that being said, we'll see how things go today. My goal today is to try to hit 11 objectives, unlock the final stage Roswell, and then check that out, okay? So we'll see. We'll see if I'm able to do that, and we'll see how it goes. Now, if I'm not able to do that, that's okay. I was never saying that I was going to 100% complete these games, nor was I saying I was going to master them. I said I was just going to try them and play them, because I never played these games back in the day when they were, you know, on the PS1 <clears throat> and Nintendo 64 era stuff, okay? So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, the other good news about this, though, is that this game is not just Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1, it's 1 and 2, okay? So even though we may be coming to the end 
of our run in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1, there's a whole other game in here. Yeah, there's a whole other game in here to check out. So, today, we're going to try to finish up Pro Skater 1. If I do, great. If I can't, also great. We could go move on to 2. <clears throat> and I'm sure the earlier stages of 2 are probably much easier than the later stages of 1. Okay? So, should be fun. We're going to see uh, new parks. We're going to see new stuff. I'm sure I'm going to fail a bajillion times and rage at certain things, like always. Uh, after today's stream, again, I'll kind of leave it in your hands. If you guys want to see more Tony Hawk, <clears throat> I'm open to suggestion. Okay? So we'll see. Hopefully today goes well. All right. Um, tonight, the late night stream tonight, it is time for my weekly session of Throwback Street Fighter Fun. Once a week, I play old school Street Fighter. You guys usually seem to really enjoy it when I do. And so that is going to be tonight at 6.45 p.m. Pacific Time, Street Fighter 2, 3, and Street Fighter Alpha 3 <clears throat> will all be played tonight. Okay? Good stuff. Tomorrow... Another great day of variety streaming. Tomorrow we return back to Marvel's Avengers. And as of now, I've unlocked three of the Avengers, including the Hulk, Iron Man, and Black Widow. So we'll zoom tomorrow, playing as the Black Widow, uh, trying to rescue Kamala Khan, who was kidnapped by AIM, and go from there and see how it goes. Um, major stream of that, by the way. People have been saying that the campaign is between 10 and 15 hours long at this point. If you add it up, I'm probably around 7-ish hours into it, I guess. Um, so probably I would think, if it is correct, probably about two more major streams before I wrap up the story of the game. Okay? Um, so that's tomorrow's major stream. Tomorrow night. Saturday night. It's the return of Fall Guys. Yes, I know I did not play Fall Guys last week. <clears throat> Mainly due to the fact that I was sick and I missed out on a bunch of streams. So, <clears throat> Fall Guys returns. Saturday night. I'm excited for this. Sunday, likely more Tony Hawk. Maybe that would be the final Tony Hawk stream because if I play another major stream of it, I may get through all of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 and that might be the end of Tony Hawk. Okay, we'll see. <clears throat> and then uh, Sunday night, the return of Fire Emblem Three Houses, which has been on hiatus for a couple of weeks now. Uh, it'll come back to the regular rotation this week. So that's going to be Sunday night, two hours of Fire Emblem. I've actually heard... I'm nearing the end of the game. Someone said probably about 10, 15 hours, and I'm, I'll beat it, um, which is great. Sadly, I don't have time to focus on it. You know, I'm doing other stuff, so it still might take me a couple of months to beat it at this rate, but at least we'll get a couple hours in on Sunday night. <clears throat> and then on Monday, more Avengers, and Monday night, more Batman Arkham City. We played Batman Arkham City last night. Man, that was fun. It was a great session. We got a bunch of side content done. Um, major side content missions with uh, Deadshot and uh, finding uh, Mr. Freeze's wife, and then tracking down the Joker at the steel mill. Major, major, uh, you know, mission there. It was really good. And then um, we're gonna we uh, unlocked a few other things too in the city. I think the Zaz is a new Zaz mission that's gonna appear at any point. And I think after that we might actually finish the Zaz side mission. And now we're playing as. Um, Catwoman for her next segment. So, that's going to continue on Monday night. Two more hours of Batman Arkham City on Monday night. I hope you'll join me for that. Okay? And that's roughly the streaming week. Now, next week, we've got big variety. Because next week, not only will I be continuing with Avengers, not only will I be doing probably a little bit more Fall Guys, maybe a little bit more Tony Hawk, depending. But also, next week, we got two new releases. WWE 2K Battlegrounds, the new WWE game that's cartoony and fun and silly. I don't know what that means if it's good. Um, we'll find out. But then also, the Crisis Remaster slash Remake. I never played Crisis 1. So be excited to try out for Crisis 1 for the first time ever on modern consoles. Okay? So two new games next week to play. So that's why we're going to try to get as far as we can and wrap up Avengers and Tony Hawk. Uh, hopefully before those games hit. Okay? Interesting. Interesting. All right. So, good stuff coming up in the next week. I hope you guys are excited for those streams. A few reminders. First of all, the sky is blue. It's a very important reminder. But also, if you live in nor northwestern United States, it's probably not blue. It's probably full of smoke from all these crazy wildfires. We actually got told today 
Leave your windows closed no matter what. Leave your windows closed. Keep the smoke out. We were actually told this. Do not go outside today if you can avoid it. Pretty crazy. Um, but anyway, a couple reminders. First of all, please continue to nominate games for the upcoming Rageathon Marathon that will be happening at the end of this month. All right? I know this month is flying by. We're already 11 days into the month. It feels like we're still in August. I ser it, it just Time is flying by at this point. Okay? Um, please continue to nominate games. Those nominations will remain open. Uh, probably for a few more days. I'm thinking about till around the middle of the month. Then I'll probably close those nominations. I'll tally up your nominations. I'll see what games were most nominated. I'll try to pick and choose the ones that I feel, number one, are the most easily accessible, obviously, to get for this thing. But also, games that are going to cause rage. Okay? And so then, once that is done, I will uh, set a date for the event near the end of this month. How do you nominate games? There's two ways. You can type exclamation point marathon into the stream chat. That will bring up a link to go to my website. Or you can just wait every 15 or 20 minutes. And then a link will automatically show up in the link in the stream chat anyway. Click on that. It goes to my forums. And on the forums, that's where you can post up game nominations. Okay? So, please do. Like I said, I'll be open for a few more days until I finally start looking at those, tallying them up, and figuring out what games will make it to the marathon. In addition, good news, guys. Didn't even announce this on Twitter last night. I forgot. Um, we hit the tier two subscriber goal for the month yesterday. Huzzah! So that's awesome, right? That is awesome that we did that. And that means that not only will we be doing a Halloween day event where for a, you know, extended period of time, I'll be playing a variety of games that you guys, again, are going to be nominating, voting on, etc. But also, <clears throat> I'll be dressing up in costume and you guys are going to be able to vote on the category of Halloween costume that I'll be wearing this year. Previous years, categories have included many different things, including things like pop culture star, movie movie star, comic book character, video game character, or my personal own choice. Um, and so, previous years, some pretty cool outfits. Last year, I was Yoshi. The year before, I was Bob Ross. The year before that, I was Ezio from Assassin's Creed. Other years, I've been Deadpool, a Ghostbuster, and a few other things. So, pretty cool, right? Um, <clears throat> I love the Halloween events. I hope that you guys love the Halloween events, too. Um, so, yes, I am excited for the Halloween event. And that's good news. Now, you may have noticed there's another sub-goal. And you may be saying, what the hell? There's a, a third sub-goal? What's this? So, here's the thing, guys. I don't know if you heard. I don't know if you live under a rock. But earlier this week, the Vest stream ended. The Vest stream. Let's try that again. The Vest streak ended. For over five months, almost six. All right? We had a streak going. And it was pretty amazing. But it finally all ended on Monday night. Now, one of the things we were doing in celebration of hitting that streak was I was doing festival celebrations. Once a month, we were doing a special day where basically we would do a bunch of fun stuff, including the revival of DSP Tries It. This is the series where I try various products. Usually it's some kind of food or drink. And you guys used to love DSP Tries It back in the day. Then it went on hiatus for a couple of years. But this year I brought it back as a way to celebrate the ongoing vest streak. Well, that's all over with, right? And since it's over with, um, that's the end of DSP Tries It. It's over. Forever. I'm never doing another episode again. <laughs> well... Not really, but the thing is, you know, without the festivals, it kind of deleted the reason why I was doing it. So, I said, why not? Since we already hit a Tier 1 and a Tier 2 subs goal for this month, why not do a stretch goal? So, our stretch goal for subs this month is 775 subs. And if we hit that, I'll be doing a special edition of DSP Tries It during the Halloween special. Okay? So, there you go. <clears throat> it's a good way to... Uh, kind of, you know, integrate this into my already existing content. I'm already doing a Halloween special, uh, so why not do a special special? A special during the special. <laughs> uh, so wait. A special within a special. special Specialception. Oh my god. <clears throat> so, good stuff. Let's. If you're not a sub to the channel, why should you subscribe to my channel? Well, first of all, it's because it's in. It's the hip thing to do. All the cool cats are doing it. 
And if you're not subbed to the channel, you're a square daddy-o. Alright? But, what do you get for subscribing to the channel? This is stupid. What do you get for subscribing to the channel? First of all, you get a cool chat crown badge to show how long you've been a subscriber. Second of all, you don't have to watch advertisements when I take an ad break, which I usually only do once a stream, but still, no one likes ads. I certainly don't like ads. I know you don't like ads. But the real major thing that you get out of being a subscriber to my channel is you get access to over 40, 40 emotes. And if you're a newcomer to the channel, you may be saying, what? 40 emotes? How the hell did you get so many? Most streamers don't even have half that. You're right. Um, a couple years ago, I was very, very lucky to have a supporter who came in here and gifted a ridiculously, ludicrously large amount of subscribe subscriptions. And they were the tier three subscriptions. These are the ones that gave me a ton of support. And when he gifted all those subscriptions, it unlocked my capability to have a ridiculous amount of emotes. <clears throat> okay? So even though my viewership isn't anywhere near as high as you would think to be able to have that many emotes, I have that many. So it's a ginormous, uh, you know, thing to say it's really cool if you sub to my channel, you get so many different emotes. All right? So... Please consider subscribing to the channel for the various reasons. And again, if we hit 775 subscriptions this month, DSP Tries It will return as a live special during the Halloween Marathon special. Okay? Uh, excuse me. Pretty cool. Very nice. All right. So that's that, guys. That's that's what I got to talk about. Um, outside of all that, today's a big controversial day. People are arguing about uh, September 11th stuff, people are arguing about the Mulan movie, people are arguing about all kinds of shit on the internet. I'm not in a very argumentative mood today. I don't really want to get into this negative negativity and nonsense. Um, I just want to have a good day, even though I know today's going to be a challenging day with all the gameplay I'm doing. Like I said, very action-based day today, kind of the opposite of chill. Um, I'm still looking forward to today very much. I hope you guys are too. Ah. And so, I don't have anything else to talk about. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to get the shout-outs. And we'll start talking about the topics you guys want to talk about. Alright? So, thank you very much to everyone who's contributed so far to the stream. Let's start off with Eternal Napalm, who did a 200-bit cheer. And said, have you seen the trailer for Dune that recently dropped? It looks phenomenal. Best looking sci-fi I've seen in years. Uh, I have not seen the trailer for Dune. Okay, have not seen it. Um, I saw the original Dune a while ago. And I remember some parts of the movie I liked and other parts I thought were insanely boring. Uh, but that was a long time ago. I haven't seen Dune. Oh my God. Like, I can't even remember when I saw it. It had to have been like the 2000s. So it had to have been over 10 years ago when I saw this movie. Um, I know it's a cult classic. I know a ton of people love Dune. Um... And it kind of, Dune has influenced a lot of pop culture things. He who controls the spice controls the power. <laughs> right? The spice. You need that tasty spice. Um, what's funny is they talk about the spice, but the spice isn't even like a spice. Right? It's not actually something to season food. It's something else in the movie. But anyway, um, I have not seen that movie in a ridiculously long time. So, I don't really have much to say about it. Now, let me get a new one. Wow, that's a typical Hollywood, right? Can't do anything original. <laughs> Can't do anything original, so let's go back and let's uh, go back to like 30, 40 years in the past and, uh, you know, let's uh, pull out ideas out of our butts and reboot them. Uh, I don't know if this movie will be a straight reboot or not, I've heard it has a great cast. Everyone's telling me that it has like a bunch of big stars in it. Um, but outside of that, I don't know much about it. I've not seen the trailer. Maybe I will check it out. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, Chaos Riser 327 has subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much, Chaos Riser, for the sub. And also, OP Keen has subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys for the sub. I'll, I will update the sub count in a, in a bit here uh, to see if we've gone up or down this morning. Because um, obviously we've got a sub goal. People want to know. It's the burning question. How are we doing on subs? 
And I want to give you answers to your burning questions. I don't want to have to just burn your crotch out all day. I want to give that, that crotch an nice itch, okay? A nice itch. I meant to say a nice scratch. Ladies and gentlemen, you come to my stream, you get your crotch scratched. That is the, the, the message of the day. That's what you should spread around the internet and tell everyone. Come to Dark Side Phil's streams, get your crotches scratched. That's the new catch line for my streams. Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue. Uh, Eternal Dave Pop cheered. He said, any plans to check out Genshin Impact later this month when it releases? It's Breath of the Wild as a full-fledged RPG with hundreds of quests, dozens of dungeons, and gotcha mechanics. Lots of characters. Each character being an entirely new class. Best part is free. No! I don't know anything about that. Doesn't sound good. <laughs> I, that, that doesn't sound appealing to me whatsoever. Um, ow! Sand in my eyes. Nah, it doesn't sound good. I've already got a, a, a packed month. So this month coming up, we got WWE 2K Battlegrounds and the Crisis Remake. Um, I think the week after that, is it Mafia? Let me double check this now. I'm not 100%. I can't remember. Let's look. Uh, yes. So the week after that, we've got the Mafia remake, Mafia Definitive Edition. I'm excited for that. Everyone's always told me Mafia 1's a great game and I should play it, and I never played it. So I'll be experiencing it for the first time um, while I'm uh, playing the remake version. Okay, so that should be good. <clears throat> that should be pretty exciting. Um... So, those are the three new releases we got coming out. Plus, I'll be playing, finishing Avengers and Tony Hawk. Plus, I'll be continuing on with my Batman playthrough. Plus, Fire Emblem will be continuing. Plus, weekly streams of Street Fighter. And if I have time for Fall Guys. Now, if anywhere amongst there, anywhere in there, we have some extra time, there's a couple considerations that we can do. One of the ones that everyone's been asking me about is, am I, I going to go back and replay Super Mario Galaxy? Because now they're doing this trilogy... That they're re releasing these remastered versions of the games on the Switch. Um, maybe I would if we had time. And the thing is, it all depends on time constraints this month. If there is enough time this month and we can cram it in, maybe I'll check out Super Mario Galaxy's uh, remake um, on the Switch. Okay? We'll see. It's been, it's been, what, eight years since I played the game? I think people were saying that the other day. It's been eight plus years since I played the game. When I played it, it was before I was even doing direct capture. You know, no streams, no direct capture. I mean, that was a long fucking time ago. So perhaps I would enjoy replaying that game. Okay, um, we'll see. I'll I'll consider it strongly. That would be I would say that would be the number one consideration for this month. That if we have time to do it, that's what I would do. Okay, but I don't know how long these games coming out. How long will it take me to beat Avengers? How much more time am I going to put into Tony Hawk? Um, how much content will there be in WWE 2K Battlegrounds? How long is Crisis One? How long is Mafia? I don't know. I don't know these. I don't, I don't have answers to these. Now, Richard Link just asked me a question. And so it actually goes along with the question I was asked yesterday. What about chill streams such as Minecraft and Morrowind? What happened to those? Are they ever coming back? Okay. It's a, it's a valid question. First of all, those are those are games that likely are not going to be main gameplay streams. All right. Um... Let's face it, we're in the midst of the busy new gaming season. People want to see new games. All right? This is the, the time for old stuff is over. And that's why we're focusing in on all these new releases during the daytime streams. Okay? Even though, incidentally, it's funny, half the games I'm playing that are new releases are technically remakes and are old games anyway. But <laughs> it's the first time I'm playing these old games, so it basically is new games for me. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, so, uh... So we shall see uh, how it goes with all this stuff. But, as for Minecraft and Morrowind, here's the thing. Those are playthroughs for when there's really nothing else going on. And what I mean by that is there's no games that people really want to see badly. They're games that are basically ongoing chill streams just to have something to do while we interact and have fun. Let's face it, half the time when I was playing Minecraft or Morrowind, we weren't even focusing on the games, right? We were having a conversation, you know? And that's fine. I understand that there are people who tune into my content just to hang out with me and have conversation. And that's fine. I'm totally okay with that. But this is basically not a good time for that because we're in the midst of so much stuff. You know, people want to see the Batman playthrough continue. Batman's a long game. It's a fun game. It's a big anniversary of that playthrough. And I, I'm really enjoying playing it, right? So 
Obviously, Batman takes priority over those. Fall Guys. It's the viral sensation that everyone likes to see me play because it's silly fun. It's got a lot of suspense and drama. Let's see if I can win, and sometimes I do. Um, you know, I don't suck horribly at it, so I actually get, get the chance of winning sometimes, which is nice. So people like to see Fall Guys, you see? Right now, we have stuff for the late night streams that's exciting that people want to see. If we run out of stuff for the late night streams, all right, and people want to see those chill streams continue, then they'll come back. But I just don't feel this is the right time. I'll be honest. I don't think anytime soon would be the right time. Right now, we've got so much going on. You know, just this, this week, okay, this week right now, the expansion came out for the Outer Worlds, <clears throat> okay, the DLC expansion. I'm completely skipping it because I'm so behind on content right now, right? I'm behind on Avengers. I'm behind on Tony Hawk because I was sick last week. So because of that, I'm skipping this DLC. Now, if we were to have extra time this month, maybe I would check out that DLC, you see? But I probably would not go back to Minecraft or Morrowind at this point. Am I saying the playthroughs are completely defunct? No. At the same time, I can't guarantee you if and when they're coming back. Again, we have to. it's all about the schedule. It's all about what's coming out when. The way I foresee it is thus. This month, for the rest of this month, it's going to be very busy. We've got more than enough to fill the time. Next month, October, if you haven't seen the game release list for October, it's very, very busy. There's a ton of games coming out in October. All right? November. At first glance, it doesn't seem super packed, but guess what? Now the new consoles are coming out in November. And that means there's going to be a ton of new games coming out in November. So I would foresee, this would be kind of, you know, being honest and looking at the schedule. Playthroughs like that, like Morrowind and Minecraft, I mean... They might not even return till like, December at this point, all right? And if that means that by then no one's going to care about the playthroughs and I just shouldn't go back to them, then so be it. Um, obviously, I really enjoyed playing those games for as long as I did or else I wouldn't have played them for as long as I did. But right now, there's just so much going on with gaming. I don't need filler content. And that's essentially what Morrowind and Minecraft were. They were filler content. At times when otherwise there wasn't new release content to do. You see? <clears throat> so. That's my feeling. Okay? And I appreciate the fact that people like those playthroughs and want to see them return. I loved playing them and hanging out with you guys when I did too. So I'm, I'm there with you. But it's got to be when the time is right. If I were to bring those playthroughs back now. And then we have playthroughs like Batman and stuff taking forever to finish. People would obviously be upset. Okay? I would be upset. So. <clears throat> Madara's God actually said, he cheer, he didn't cheer, but he said, if I'm really just doing the story of Avengers, I might only need one more stream and I might actually beat it. Really? Because that would be tomorrow then. Tomorrow is the major stream of Avengers. I was going to do Avengers tomorrow and Monday, and I thought Monday would be the conclusion. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I, I, Here's the thing. Every single time recently that I've listened to people about how long it was going to take me to beat something, it's always longer. <laughs> I'm serious. I was told, you know, I would beat Nier Automata in a certain amount of time and then it ended up going longer. I was told I was going to beat Paper Mario Origami King in like a half an hour and it took the full two hour stream. Every single time, people seem to underestimate the amount of time it takes to beat something. And then I try to say, oh, okay, well, we'll do this and this extra. We'll do this. And then it takes forever to beat it. So I'm not going to jump the gun here. Right now, I have two streams scheduled. All right. I have one scheduled for... Uh, tomorrow and one scheduled for monday and i'm not going to change that schedule i'm going to leave the schedule as is for now all right and we're going to see what happens and go from there <clears throat> okay if we need if, if if monday stream there's nothing to do in avengers we'll do something different right maybe we'll do a major stream of, of, of batman or something we'll figure it out it's not it's not like we can't figure it out there's tons of shit we can do okay so there you go all right, let's continue on. X Venom Symbiote has subscribed to the channel for 26 months. Thank you, X Venom Symbiote, for over two years of support. Much appreciated. Kaiser Painting has subscribed for six months, the six month anniversary. Thank you, Kaiser Painting. And he says, speaking of sub length, there you go. Thank you very much, Kaiser Painting, for six months of support. I appreciate that, man. Um, Jethro's main cheer. He said, Your original playthrough of Milker Solid 1 made me cry with pain. Would you be willing to do a redemption run? No! Well, last year, during a marathon, people wanted me to play Metal Gear Solid 1. I did, even though 
I told you guys it wasn't going to be much. It was just going to be the intro segment of the game because I knew it was during a marathon. It was only going to be about an hour to an hour and a half. So I did. And then people were like, well, are you going to go back to it? And I said, well, maybe I would. I would consider it. I'm just in no hurry. Then the hardcore gaming season hit and we got super busy. Then the coronavirus hit. <laughs> and basically it just got forgotten. And the thing was originally I had told people I was planning on doing it as one of my summertime playthroughs this year that MGS1 would be a good summertime playthrough for downtime. But look what happened. The summer wasn't dead. The summer had multiple new releases with Last of Us 2 and Ghost of Tsushima. And we ended up being busy the whole summer. We didn't actually get our typical summer downtime like we usually do this year because the coronavirus delayed game releases so long that everything was kind of staggered out over the course of the summer. So, that being said, uh, it didn't happen. All right? Am I against going back and playing Metal Gear Solid 1? No. I mean, I have it already. It wouldn't cost me anything. i just continue on from where I played during that marathon or whatever. Right? But again, with playthroughs like that, you got to do it when the time is right. Right now, amidst a, 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 a three plus months of nonstop new releases of the fall gaming season, this is not the time to do it. Okay? So the answer here is no, I will not be doing MGS1 anytime soon. Would I consider doing it in the future? Yes. But not now. Okay. Fly Eagles Fly 01 has resubscribed for a whopping 40 months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for over three years of ongoing support. Fly Eagles Fly. I appreciate that very, very much. He says, hope you're good. I Listen, I am good. I'm much better than I've been. Today is the first day in, in two weeks. I'm not putting medicine in my ears. My ears are at 100% again, which is very good. Well, I, I all right. Maybe not 100. I would say my right ear. Uh, oh, excuse me. It's disgusting. I had a, but I had a banana walnut muffin for breakfast today. And you could probably hear it. <laughs> so anyway, um, today's the, my right ear, I would say, has a little tiny bit of hearing loss. And I think it's because I damaged the, the ear membrane with this whole ear infection thing. But ear, ears heal themselves. So I would say probably give it a week. I'll probably be back to my old self 100%. But no ear pain, no swelling. And today is the first day in over a week I can finally stop putting eardrops into my ears. My eardrop regimen is over. So I'm very pleased. And let me tell you something. This is not going to happen again if it's within my power. I told you guys I'm sticking to my guns <clears throat> once a week. I am going to be sterilizing my entire setup once a week. Basically, when I come back from my break, whatever day that may be, next week it'll be Wednesday, I'm going to clean everything. That includes all keyboards, all controllers, mice, headphones, gunner glasses, the buttons that I touch on things like my monitors and stuff, my knobs and dials. Everything that I touch, basically, in this office will be sterilized once a week. If that doesn't freaking stop the ear infections, I don't know what will. But you got to think, you know, once a week wiping everything down with antibacterial wipes should take care of this issue. I hope. I freaking hope. <clears throat> okay. Is that what caused my ear infections as Venom Symbiote? You would think so. I mean, the thing is, all we can do is hypothesize, right? Um, I've been using headphones for... Seven years. I started doing direct capture in 2013. All of a sudden, after seven years, I start getting ear infections, right? So there's a few things you can hypothesize. The first is I'm getting older. And getting older, you get more susceptible to shit. It's just, it's just a fact of life, okay? Number two, I was using the Astro A40 headphones for over three straight years, and the ear cups had worn out. And what I mean by that is not only had they lost their shape, but they had holes in them. And I think what happens is the, the foam was being was absorbing my bodily fluids. And what I mean by my oils from my hair, from my face, my disgusting skin, gross oils were oozing and seeping and absorbing into the foam, creating a disgusting bacterial concoction, a breeding ground for grossness. Okay? And I think this is what was happening. And, you know, was I cleaning them? Every once in a while, but not on a consistent basis. Admittedly, I will tell you, I was not consistently cleaning. And I think that's what happened is, you know, previously, other years when I've done direct capture, like I said, I've done this for seven years. 
I've always sw I had headphones that I would swap out. Remember when I first started doing this, I had the Tritons, I had Turtle Beach, and I had Astros. And what I would do is every few months I would rotate those headphones out and use a different kind. You would see my older videos. Sometimes I'm wearing one set, sometimes I'm wearing the other. <clears throat> when I moved out here in 2014, sadly my headphones all started breaking, one by one. The Turtle Beach, one of the ear cups went out. The Triton, the headband broke. Um, and so finally in late 2017 during a black friday sale i purchased these astro a40s i have used these astro a40s every single day for three straight years and i think that's what it is previously i'd never done that this is the first time for a straight run i would use the same headphones every day for three freaking years in addition with those ear cups that was the noise isolation ear cup design that i was using and what it does is it creates a closed circuit of air in the ear cup so you can isolate the sound from the game. The problem with that is it also creates a humid environment that's a breeding ground for bacteria as well. So not only was I using the same headphones for three years and not consistently cleaning them, and I'm getting older, but I was using ear cups that were creating humidity in my ears. So it's the quadruple whammy. The perfect storm to get sick, per se. All right? So I've had enough. I threw out all that shit. I threw out those ear cups. Anything that had foam holes in it and shit, I tossed. It's gone. It's out of here. Um, I'm now using open air ear cups, so I don't get the noise isolation anymore. But at the same time, it doesn't create a humid environment in my ear at all. In fact, my ears feel nice and comfy now with these new headphones. That I, which I say new headphones. They're not new. It's just new ear cups. Um, and like I said, I'm going to be cleaning them once a week. Now, my plans are as follows. Once the PlayStation 5 is announced for pre-order, I'm going to pre-order the PS5. And I think I'm going to buy those official Sony headphones that they're launching along with the PS5. And I think that would be pretty cool because not only will I have a new set of headphones to experiment with, but I can do that along with my PS5 unboxing. I can kind of use the headphones and review them for you guys and let you know how the 3D audio works. Because remember, PS5 has built in 3D audio now, which previously other consoles did not have at launch. So I'm going to be able to review that and that will be a new set of headphones to, to work with. Whenever I use PS5. Are those the wireless ones? I think they are Solarian. Are they wireless? I'm pretty sure they are. And that would be cool because I haven't used wireless headphones in a bajillion years. I'm telling you, like, I had wireless headphones at the first half of the 2000s. When I used to work out. Yeah, when I used to work out, sometimes I would wear wireless headphones when I was, like, running or jogging or riding a bike or something um, to work out. So, <clears throat> this will certainly be interesting. Certainly be interesting. We'll see what happens. Okay, so hopefully sterilize, sterilizing everything once a week, changing the ear cups that I'm using now, and then hopefully getting a new set of headphones in a couple of months. Hopefully all these things will curtail the ear infection. My goal is to never get an ear infection again for the rest of my life. Two times in one year was two times too fucking many. I'm done with that shit. And other thing is, like I told you guys, I personally blame myself for ending the streak. The vest streak was going strong. I get sick and miss two days of work. I come back and immediately the vest streak ends. So I blame myself. And I, you know, I'm sorry for that. And I want to make up for that. That's why I made all these changes this week. Okay. I hope you like the changes that I have uh, instituted. Timbo Slice did 100 bit cheers. So I want to give a public heartfelt uh, sadness. A public heartfelt sadness. Anyway, I think I get what he's saying. But anyway, here we go. I just wanted to give a public. Heartfelt sadness to those great Americans that lost their lives 19 years ago today due to dumb actions of awful people upset we have freedoms they did not have. Thank you, Timbo. Yes, 9-11. We, we, uh, you know, we had our little moment earlier re reflecting on it. We'll never forget. Robert tipped $3, and he says, Maybe Darkseid fills the wet, damp hair dripping down combined with the human office and the platinum vest making it sweat in your ear. Consider getting shorter hair on the sides. Uh, consider getting shorter hair on the sides. You mean, like, I have short hair on my side? I don't have long hair. <laughs> dripping. My hair is dripping. Dripping grease. Disgusting. Oils. You put your hand in my hair, you pull it out, it's caked in oils. This this real slippery, sliding everywhere. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Um... Gee, thanks, Robert, for the $3 tip. I appreciate your concern. I do. Thanks very much. Yeah, Crisco Head. 
Yes, it's nothing like uh, nothing like putting your hand through someone's hair and then when it comes out, it's covered in animal fat, right? Yeah, it's delicious. What I usually do is I rub my hand through my hair and then I, I slap my hand down on a baking tray so that I <laughs> to make it non-stick, right? Uh, Eternal Napalm here. He says announcement to chat: nominate two B or nine S for Phil's Halloween costume. Wow. Well, I don't think that's going to happen, considering that there are no nominations. <laughs> it's just going to be a poll. It's going to be a poll based on categories, but that's what he wants. He wants 2B or 9S. There you go. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let us... Oh, by the way, before we give shout-outs here, I should remind everyone, the new way things are going now, because we have a new system now in place for the streams, in regards to tipping and the reward structure and everything. And I just want to toss this out there so you guys are aware. All right. So the way it works now is that tips have multiple reward levels. If I reach $50 in tips today, I will put on the gunner glasses. If I reach $100 in tips today, which is the tips goal for the stream, you guys get to choose a vest for me to wear. Now, the last vest I wore was the camo vest. Okay. So that means the other vests would be eligible. However, last night... People and I were talking here on the stream, and people were like, you know, it seems to always be the camo or the platinum vest. We don't get to see any other vests anymore. So I think what I'm going to do from moving forward, and this is just a thing we're trying. It doesn't have to be set in stone, but here's what I want to try, okay? Here's what I want to try. Every day, the, this, this vests that I wore the day before are not eligible. So, for example, yesterday I wore... The platinum vest on the first stream and the camo vest on the late stream. So today, if we hit the tip skull during this stream, it will either be the beige, the blue, the gray, or the red vest that will be eligible. Okay? And then tonight, right, it would be the other three. If, let's say if we hit the street now, tonight would be the remaining three vests. But then, on Saturday, we would bring back the platinum and the camo vest to the rotation. But whatever vest I wore today would be out of the rotation. This way it creates variety instead of the same vest every stream, which people seem are getting tired of, okay? So I think that's what we're going to do. So today, if we hit $50 in tips, I put on the gunner glasses. If we hit $100 in tips, which is the tips goal for the stream, you guys get to choose between the beige, the blue, the red, or the gray vest. <clears throat> if we double the tips today, double the tips goal, $200, I really don't think that's going to happen. But if we do that, I will spin in place 10 to 15 times in my chair, and then I'll try to play Tony Hawk when I'm dizzy. See how that goes. Like, I, I can't play Tony Hawk when I'm not dizzy. So can you imagine how it'll go when I'm actually dizzy as shit? All right? <laughs> so let's see how that goes. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I really don't think we're doubling the tips goal today. I'm just saying. But uh, if it does happen, that would be pretty funny, I think. <clears throat> okay. Shout out. Two. Now, hold on a second here. Hold on, everybody. Hold up. I gotta check something. Uh, let's see here. There's something I gotta check here. Because I don't know if this is legit or not. I'm going to be honest here, okay? Hmm. I don't know. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 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 So here's the deal. I just received a $90 tip. And that tip is from Husef Stalin. All right. Obviously sounds like Stalin the dictator from World War II. Right. Here's the thing. Here's why I'm very skeptical about this. All right. I'll tell you why I'm very skeptical about this. I'll tell you exactly why. Because the last time someone came in here and started tipping me with names of dictators, they charged back all of it. <clears throat> now, this was a few months ago. Okay? This was a few months ago when this happened. And 
I get the feeling this is not legit. I get the feeling this is... I'm looking at the information right now, and this doesn't necessarily correspond with anybody else. You see what I'm saying? Like, it looks like it's it's, it's unique. I, I don't see... It doesn't necessarily say that, oh, this is the same as someone else who's tipped before. Okay? Um, I get the feeling this is not legit. You know? I think this is some, the same... This is probably the same guy from months ago. I do... I, that, that's the vibe I'm getting. Okay? Hold on a second. Give me a second here. Let me take a look at something. Let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I want to count this. I might I might return it. Because I don't think this is legit. I think this is the same guy. Why would someone come in here with the name of a fucking dictator? Right? A heinous dictator. And tip me like that. Out of nowhere. It's ex pretty much exactly. How it was months ago. I say it was like 3-4 months ago. This guy came in and did this for like a whole day. And then he fucking charged it all back afterward. And it was a big ordeal. I don't want to deal with this shit. You know. How about the message? The message says. I can't contribute later. I have to go to work. Here's tips. Here's to the tip skull. Yeah, I don't know, man. So, oh, Stalin was just misunderstood. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was such a misunderstood guy. I feel so bad for that guy. <laughs> what the fuck? I think, I, I think I'm just going to get this out of here right now. I think I'm just going to immediately return this tip. I do. I'm just going to return it. it. It doesn't sound legit to me. It doesn't sound legit. If this guy was legit, he would have come in here and he wouldn't have tipped like that. You know what I mean? He wouldn't have tipped with the name of a fucking di a dictator and shit. I'm just gonna... I'm returning this right now. I'm doing it live on stream. I'm returning this, guys. Issue a refund. Issue refund. I did it. I refunded it. Good. Now I don't have to worry about it. So that does not count, obviously, towards anything. Because I don't believe that was legit. I think that was the same fucking guy from months ago. And I don't believe that that was legit. And I think that he was going to try to fuck me on the back end. So I'm not going to deal with that shit. Okay, guys? So that's what happened, just so you know. Um, <clears throat> just so you know. That was not legit, and I didn't count it. Okay? Okay. That's correct. Someone just said, if it really is legit, they could just tip it again and not use a suspect name this time. I agree with you. They shouldn't use that name to begin with. So, Okay, let's continue. Um, Misco Briscoe did a 100-bit cheer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Has I been on call for a week? I'm chilling like Matt Dillon. <laughs> okay, chilling like Dillon. Thank you, Misco Briscoe, for the 100-bit cheer. Um... Actually, hold on a second here. Okay. Eternal Napalm currently has the top cheer. Just wanted to be sure. Bin Boy Snatcher tipped me $7.29. I have no idea what that means, but it is the biggest tip of the day. Anyone know what that is? <laughs> is that something gross or something that I shouldn't have said? Let's see. I see Bin Boy Limited. No. No. Nothing even comes up on Google. So. All right. Well, it's the top tip. Let's do it. $7.29. <clears throat> Oops. Where's the... I was like, where's the parentheses? Okay. I guess up the $10 a tip so far today. Thank you, guys. All right. Now, <laughs> back to what I was doing before we got distracted by that tip that was not legitimate. Um, here we go. Okay, shout out to the top 
cheerers of the week. Thank you to those who have cheered so far this week. We got Bad Guy in 10th place, Dark Side Kenny in 9th, Always Hot T in 8th, Nose Vacuum in 7th, um, Sambuca in 6th, Timbo Slice in 5th, Ninstar Rune is in 4th, Spartan King in 3rd, Hygienic Streamer Tips in 2nd, and Psychic OC in 1st place. Thank you guys for the contributions this week. Also, thank you to the following people who get their subscriptions to the channel this week. Which is why we saw such a big increase in subs this week, okay? Alright. Bad Guy, R. Breezy, and Jad F. all gifted a single sub. Marita Lucina and Chipe and Ultima Cloud 2 each gifted two subs. Timbo Slice gifted three subs. Lunaba gifted four. Golden Nobles gifted 13. And Only Ice Coffee gifted 105 subscriptions this week. Very nice. Okay. Timbo Slice Juice, is it true you're taking over at Capcom making Street Fighter games? Yes. I mean, let's face it. If David Serlin could make a fucking Street Fighter game, I sure as hell could make a Street Fighter game. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for so, so far. Thank you for your support so far on the stream. Let's take a break. I gotta use the restroom. When we come back, the continuation of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Alright? I'll be back shortly. With Tony Hawk, thank you guys. See you in a bit.